We're in for a belter. So it's the winners of Group A, Indonesia, taking on the runners-up of Group B, Vietnam. It's Vietnam in the white strip that get us underway. To say the pitch is looking absolutely magnificent. All those changes made by Trussier because it was only 48 hours ago that Vietnam did play against Thailand. Indonesia had an extra day's rest, but a lot of the players were rested for that last game. And strong in the challenge and the tackle. Mazahan, and who plays over in Japan, of course. Tamahan coming all the way across, he'll be the one that will launch this one in. It's a really big throw and a free header. What a finish! From the man that started every game for Indonesia, Komang Tegu. He came and arrived late on and buried that header into the corner. What a throw that is. Look at the trajectory, it's so flat, but he just strolled in there unmarked Komang and made absolutely no mistake. Dream start for Indonesia. It's his first goal of the tournament, Komang. But what a vitally important goal that could be. When Van Tom can drop in between the lines and cause all sorts of problems. Example here. Min Throng pulls it back. Van Tong with a half chance. Great run from out to in. Agus Kaffer just got caught ball watching. And it allowed Vo Min Throng to try and pull it back. How about that on the turn from the big man? Not a million miles away. Vietnam getting closer. Ball flipped back in and it's glanced up and over. And who else but the big man himself, Gwen Van Tong. He scored the opening goal of their campaign. And it was a header. And that was against Lau. He scored with another header here. What a ball whipped in. He gets in front of Rizki Rido and just gets a faint glance on it. It goes up and over. Hamano Ari in goal, giving him absolutely no chance. Game back on 100%. all round though no doubt about that as we get going for the second half and it is the red team of Indonesia kicking from right to left so launched right in there the keepers had a little bit of a flap and now the volley back in Marcelino was it the last touch come off the defender Ferrari Well, we'll have to see the replay. Marcelino just drilled it in. They've had two long throws in the game and they have scored two goals. And it is Ferrari that has scored this. There's that throw again. Poor goalkeeping to push it back into play. Marcelino drills it goal bound. And 
the centre back who's come on at half time to replace the other centre back has scored with his calf just a faint little flick. Perfect start to the second 45 minutes then for Indonesia. Vietnam will throw absolutely everything forward, including the centre backs. Quang Ngoc Tang. He carries his run on forwards. Lee Van Do has space in behind. Van Trong checks back. Ngoc Tang delivers decent ball as well. Packed into his own net though. And it's the skipper who's put it past his own keeper, Risky Rido. Troussier took the gamble, brought on Van Kang and brought on Van Truong because he knew against 10 men they can sacrifice another body to push forwards and it's paid dividends. But Tang is the man that's whacked it in and just delivered it. And actually it's not risky at all, it's Bagas Kaffa that puts the ball past his own keeper. Heartbreak for him. Put your left foot through the ball, son. He's tried to hack at it with his right. And because of that and the spin on the ball, it's come off his shin and into the back of the net. Vietnam, all square. And there's the glancing header, what a save! Van Tung thought that was in. He's got in front of his man and glanced it into that far post area. Pushed away to safety. Fernando Ari, what a save that was. Fingertips. Difficult to see if it was creeping in or not, you'll see from this sort of angle though. Oh it is, it's creeping in. Avengers caught out of position, five white shirts forwards. Kong Den trying to play it on but just got dispossessed and that's a brilliant touch and that's very very well played from Telfany. And now Fadja at the other end, Fadja checks back inside, waits for support, Fadja goes himself, brilliant block, Telfany picks up the loose ball, Telfany! Can you believe it? Can you believe it? The ten men have stung Vietnam. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Three minutes left on the clock and Vietnam have conceded against the 10 men of Indonesia. It looked like nothing was going on, they blocked the shot. Talfani had all the space closed down and somehow chops it back through the legs of the defender and across Quan Van Tuan in goal to score. And almost, almost with the last kick of the game, Indonesia take the lead. Everyone will just be pushed forwards now. It was five minutes, 50 seconds, six minutes into stoppage time. The question is now, are we going to have an equaliser? Amanda Ari down to his left. Tran Tien trying to find that bottom corner. Well, we said there'd be more drama left in this one, and there certainly has been. Irfan, they've won the corner. Bagas looked to fire it across goal rather than keep it in the corner. And you can see Indra Shafi calming everyone down, but he doesn't need to.
the whistle goes Vietnam are finally beaten in the SEA Games it's taken a monumental effort from Indonesia unbelievable scenes at the Olympic Stadium down to 10 men for over half an hour of that match at the end but Talfany six minutes into stoppage time breaks the hearts of the Vietnamese but what a performance from Indonesia